Alright, so here we are, back again. Uh, this is game two now between the Viper and Baggiofro for the Out of Sync Cup Finals. Score is 1-0 to the Viper after a little bit of a letdown in that first game. But uh, hopefully this one's going to be a little bit better. Um, I'm going to put team colours on. So over to the left of the map in the blue, we have got the Viper playing as the Britons. And over to the right in the red is Baggiofro also playing as the Britons. We've got a Brit War. Yeah, that's pretty exciting. A um, lot of archer skirmishes going on for very sure, and some nice Mongol uh, Mangana shots incoming. Yeah. I feel could be could be good. I I love watching these uh, sheep gatherers. Obviously, Britons have a sheep gathering bonus plus yeah. the fact that it's turbo. I mean, this sheep has. I feel four... like you can put one on <laughs> uh, on the sheep, and he will support yeah. two CCs. Yeah, probably. I mean, this this sheep has four villagers on it. Oh, and it's just Viper missing so uh, his one war and probably won't find it till the end of the game. The one at the, the far left. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He won't go there a second time. I feel. Yeah, he. The boar might walk though. The boar might walk into it. Uh, I'm pretty sure it won't. Mm. But we will see. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Okay, so let's see what the, their maps are looking like. Bajjofro has a nice little back gold there. And, um, I don't know, but obviously potential for walling is always the case on this map. Uh, uh, cool. Second gold at the sort of south of his base. Viper's golds are pretty close together, actually, which, I don't know, might be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on how it plays out. But should be easy to wall that and actually um, keep that safe. So uh, we'll see what happens there. And, well, do you think we're going to see feudal pressure, or do you think we're going to see straight to castle sort of uh, play? Um, I feel like Brits are okay for uh, Drush into Expos. Okay. Um, or maybe one defense archery. Uh, by the way, okay. Wiper did uh, see the ball. Oh, okay, so we so just see it. Uh, I've got unit spy on. I keep clicking on it by accident. Uh, get rid of it. I can't remember. <laughs> there. That, no, that, there we go. Yeah, he sees it. <laughs> Excellent. Um, yeah. yeah, so I, I, it's definitely going to be the case that archers are on the cards. I really hope we see some longbowmen, uh, in this game, because one thing that you just don't really get to see very often in random map games that aren't, um, Black Forest or Michi or something, um, uh, longbowmen with, like, stupid range. I love seeing that. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, in competitive, um, AOC, not too often the case, it's true. No, of course. Um, but, you know, possibility for it could happen. I mean, it's it's not uncommon to see players making some longbows. It's just that often the game never gets to the point where uh, they get all the upgrades in and actually, you know, invest so heavily into them. They're quite an expensive unit. They're not, they don't build, you know, that fast. And obviously requiring a castle rather than just archery ranges um, makes it a little bit more difficult to mass them. So, Arch is definitely okay. going to be the case, but... Bakio going up pop 14, and the Viper going for a Drush, maybe, even. Mm, I think it's yes. a bit late, is it? Yeah, wow. but it is late here. He went for three extra militias, although he had 500 food. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, it, it, that's a bit odd. I mean, it was quite a late Drush. I mean, we saw Drushes coming in at three minutes last time. Uh, so, to do it at four minutes 30 seems quite late to me. Yeah, that's off. As you say, Bajiofro now, feudal. And well, yeah, he is feudal and he's just sending out his militia. If wow. he scouts the militia, he's going to defend this so easily. Yeah, uh, we've got to keep an eye going out on Bajiofro. Anyway, I feel like the militia will arrive uh, when the first scouts are out. <laughs> or the first scout, at least. Well, yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, and he has two scouts with plus two. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Bajiofro, well, he's... Pretty lucky. He looks pretty safe back here as well. I mean, just look at his building placement. All of his villagers uh, in this small area. Um, very easy for him to defend, I feel. And, uh, well, this rush from the Viper going to be very ineffective. And yeah, yeah. I think ma you know, maybe, maybe he could upgrade Mana Arms if he gets Feudal Age very quickly. Uh, I don't feel this link. But it's it's only three Militia, so it probably isn't worth it. And Bajiofro is sniping that scout from the Viper. And yeah, that rush is you know completely almost wasted in this situation. The Viper's up to the feudal age now, and we'll see what he does. Walling the Viper up by has the looks to wall the yeah the whole map, and not walling the front up for now. 
No, not just yet. I think he will wall it though. And well, at the moment he's putting up Spearman there into the area that won't be walled. So, you know, he's looking to defend with Spearman. I think he's looking for a fast castle here. And then, as you say, into archers, archery ranges. Um, just getting a loom now as well, yeah, obviously. He needs a second Spearman. Well, he does. He's only got one out and there's, what, four scouts incoming. And, uh, well, his rush could could put a little bit of idle time uh, onto Bad Jofro here because I mean, he doesn't have any army back at home and the militia are coming in. The Viper, at the very least, is going to get some map uh, visibility. He's going to be able to see what's going on back here. And, and now he's getting up the, the archery. And, yeah, not the greatest of walls, but okay for now, I feel. Yeah, it's going to be fine. I mean, as long as he holds this hill with the spears, Viper will wall this off entirely. And uh, he's going to push out in the castle age, it seems. And the militia are arriving. Yep, there they are. And, and even I'm, trapping a yeah. militia? No, he can walk through. I honestly, I thought those militia would just be so ineffective, but somehow managing to do damage. Bad Jofro, get to lose ability. He isn't he's luck. Careful. Oh wow, my god, that's so bad. Really? Why? That shouldn't happen. No, he's just throwing the villager away. It, that was so pointless. This one will go down. Uh, these militia will go down. But seriously, the Viper getting a villager, that just should not have happened. And it did. So Viper's got a good advantage here. And uh, he's going up to the castle age now. Yeah, where he's going to start sweet. going archers. And, well, Bad Jofro, if he's not walled up, going to be very easily raided here. Especially this gold spot. It's not too uh, too far behind. I uh, think um, Bucket will have units up uh, before the Viper will be able to hit. Yeah, I think so too. I mean, well, the bad <laughs> the bad Geofro, uh, bad Geofro is uh, making some archers now where he was, but I mean, he can't keep making archers until he's clicked up to the Castle Age because he needs that gold at the moment. And he's lacking it now. Uh, there's the Castle Age for the Viper. Uh, Bad Jofro just clicking up at the same time as uh, Viper finishes his research and well crossbow is going to be incoming very shortly but I think you're right. I think um, Bad Jofro should have the Castle Age upgrade by the time the Viper gets over there. Definitely. Yeah, easily and no upgrades at all and Bakio will get a, uh, an upgrade I feel. Yeah, he's got two extra villagers at the moment, and of course Viper will catch up to that as his TC isn't uh, researching anything at the moment. But um, Bajo, not in the, not in a bad position at all. Yeah, really. And to get a free expo. Yeah, well. over over here. Nice one. Uh, definitely can't complain at that. Gonna make good use of those scouts, I feel, because I mean, if he just keeps them around the center, um, of, or the, the sort of direction that the Viper is. Um, pushing out into, then his scouts can pick off archers that might be, you know, on their own, and you know, all those little picks can really help out. So, Baggio now can't afford... Oh, there we go. He should just be able to get a crossbow now. Yeah, and he has plus one as well. He has fletching. Does the Viper um, have fletching? Yeah, he has. Yeah, he does. Uh, but of course, British archers, such good range on them. Uh, able to do damage from a long distance, and that really makes it quite difficult to defend lumber camps um, unless you've got a good solid wall, which Bad Jofro doesn't have. And Viper now uh, getting a little bit aggressive, pushing out with units, and I think this is the position he kind of wants to be in now um, in in this uh, in this game. Yeah, that's true. Now getting such a C up, and yeah, as I told you. Um, I feel like um, the Viper and I um, often have the same strategy choices. Yeah. Uh, rushing and going uh, exposed. Yeah, definitely a good choice for him. And, you know, he's going to be able to position these expos outside of Badger's base. Going to keep an, uh, an eye on the map, obviously, uh, with that extra range, extra vision as well, uh, which is always great. And, well, three TCs are up already now. And Badger Fro just getting his second. So, you know, British uh, do have the cheaper TCs, which makes it quite easy to do a, a reasonably good boom with them. Um, but Viper getting ahead in villagers. Uh, Viper pl two. added plus two as well. Yeah, Bodkin Arrow is done. Uh, and Siege Workshop up, upcoming. Oh, is that? Oh, on the front. Yeah, nice. Third TC for Bad Jofro uh, was going to be placed um, on this wood, but it's going to be placed at the back now. And 
I don't think that's a, a bad position at all. But I think Viper has... Uh, oh, wow, okay. I was going to say I think he had more military, but uh, Bad Schaefer actually has the military advantage, just lacking the villagers currently. But does he have plus two? Yes, he does. Okay, so upgrades are even. Fight there. No, he's not got his whole army fighting at the moment. But still managing to pick off uh, some units as they as they run away. Yeah, trading one archer against three. Not, uh, yeah, not too bad for Viper. Um, Badger for his army control looks a little bit off to me. Yeah, but it's, it seems laggy and yeah, true, against true. the Viper it's so, so tough. It um, is. Yeah, I feel like he has the best micro on the board. Yeah, um, pretty much. Um, those uh, are getting taken care of pretty quickly. Uh, there was no question about that. They're pretty useless in the few, uh, Castle Age, to be honest, especially when your opponent's got a, a few crossbows masked up. And this is the thing now, I was saying earlier, um, you're able to hit your opponent's lumber camp from so far away. You know, a lot of the time you might not even see it coming. And uh, they just come from behind, pick off a load of villagers, and, you know, you garrison them inside of your TC as quickly as you can, but it's too late. So Britain's Arch is just such a deadly force. Yeah, I feel like the GC placement isn't the greatest. No, uh, no. He had more units um, at the time and should have placed it on the left side of the wood. Mm -hmm. um, and then, yeah, the archers wouldn't have been able to shoot over the trees. Yeah, I agree. Uh, to attack um, them there, this way. He he did move that um, town center oh, because he felt like he could push University added by out. the Viper and two mangonels incoming. Yeah, I saw the mangonels on the way over. Uh, 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 this is a very similar thing. I mean, we've seen this almost every game from the Viper uh, so far. Every game we've seen, he's just sent he's set his gather point right outside of his opponent's base and just spammed the units over wow, and such a bad fight for Bucky out there. It is, but their populations are exactly the same. 66 to 64. Uh, Badgerifo actually has the population advantage, even though he has a very small, uh, small army in comparison. Yeah, but you know, Mangano only has one population and two uh, yeah, yeah. Archer at one. one. Uh, to, compared to, uh, well, to the damage it does to crossbows is huge. But Badger here attacking downhill, and he's coming yeah. in from behind. He might snipe this Manganel quickly, but nope, not a chance. Uh, Viper sees so. it. Um, but nice splitting. Good split. Avoiding the uh, shots for now. You know what? That's good micro. Badger yeah, for a good micro, good. but Whoa, not enough. You were sitting now. Not enough. Wow. I really wow. thought he would have paid closer attention than that. Super Manganel. <laughs> yeah, and another hit now. And that's it. Uh, Badger for taking huge damage there. Wow. That was... Oh, I, he microed that so nicely until yeah, that last but hit. I felt like he shouldn't have fought there in the first place. Yeah, true. It, it just wasn't uh, necessary. Wow, and then castle for Viper. I didn't even notice he was uh, right on, on the stone front. Side. Wow, yeah, looking to get aggressive again. I mean, similar, similar to when he played against Spring earlier. Uh, Castle's right on the front, yes. and um, <laughs> Vil coming for the castle. Who knows? <laughs> oh God damn it! Oh my gosh! Uh, only one villager though. So I mean, there's more. I guess GG. Bajofro just. I don't know. He needs to have a bit more fight in him. He needs to have more fight. He should not. Yeah, he, he isn't GGing yet. No, I hope. He will not. only GG if the Viper reaches Imperial Age. I feel. Yeah, probably. Because um, he will breeze for another like one minute, <laughs> and yeah. He, but the oh, Viper is. Oh no, he might put a lot of pressure on the. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He could stop the castle. The Manganel though is going to be the real problem here. Yeah, he's doing some quite nice hits. Already killing four archers now. Yeah, definitely, uh, but the uh, yeah. the villagers getting taken down. I think Bachofro has got some excellent micromanagement. Yeah, he just bit over Yeah. No, no, he's got it. He's yeah. got it. The castle will stop, but Viper is about to go to the Imperial Age. Great micro by Yeah, by but him. with what? Well, that's the thing, yeah. Uh, of he, 70 mm -hmm. and Bacchus on 66. Uh, enough food and enough wood, but huge lack of gold. Yeah. Uh, but of course, with the Imperial Age comes the extra range upgrades for the archers, and well, Viper's switching into skirms now. I'm not going for archers, I want to say, yeah. Yeah, uh, so it seems a little bit off. I don't know. Um, I you're building a TC there. Well, yeah, you can't deny that castle, I suppose. Um, interesting game so far. Bacho for holding on quite well, and look at how much wood and how much food he has at the moment. He has got so much resource. <laughs> Um, he needs to spend it. I mean, he's lacking the um, 
lacking the gold for for the meet time again. <laughs> and yes. you would know that uh, he wants to build a castle there. Yeah, we meet again, <laughs> Mr. Viper, as uh, as that villager is chilling around with his hammer. Um, <laughs> it's not going to go up. It, the castle will not go up. I'm telling you. Um, not as long as Vagiofro is, is seeing to it. Um, but he's defending pretty well, you know, just with that mangonel, with the few crossbows he's got, and no chance, that villager Wipe having to go back. Three and the Wiper wisely now getting um, map control and going up there. Yeah, for sure. He's gonna. He might get a couple of picks back here on these villagers. The elite skirmishers, plus three attack. Um, potential for a few dead villagers in this wood line, uh, but Bajo should respond quickly enough to get out of there uh, just fine. About a thousand score lead for the Viper now, though. Yeah. And, well, Bajo for a going Imperial as well. It's, it's ten a, population behind. It's a pretty close game so far. Uh, yeah, but I feel like. It's tough to get another gold spot for Bakio. Well, yeah, I mean, he has the opportunity to go for the one in the north. Uh, but aside from that, obviously the gold um, that the that castle was covering. Yeah, there's a he gold. Did, he didn't even scout this one. Oh, he's not scouted it, uh, I suppose. That's a good <laughs> point. <laughs> and now he's losing heavily in the scums against scum fight, although he's on Kill the hill. advantage, though. But, yeah. Could work out for him. Uh, the Viper then putting up another castle down here, uh, but the thing is now, this castle isn't up yet, and while well, Bajofro is going to be Imperial, and I imagine he's going to get a castle up pretty soon of his own, has got five villagers on stone, so it won't be too long before he does manage that. Yeah, that's very true, And but I feel like Bakio is losing, wow, even a better upgrade now, yeah, that's, that's so huge. That is that just, is good for the Viper just now. Just rips through the skirmishers. It will do. Banjo from GG. Oh man, wow. I think yeah, he was struggling to deal with these uh, skirms back here. Um, definitely struggling with the skirms um, from the Viper in that wood line. And I think yeah, Viper did have the lead. I mean, he he definitely had the lead. The Imperial upgrade time was much faster, but I still feel like Banjo Fro. Probably could have done a little more. He had a lot of resources still left to spend, but I think, yeah, against that honor, Joe, he didn't really have an answer, I suppose. Yeah, of course not. Yeah, um, so... It's so tough to counter an honor in uh, Brit War. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. um, so expensive. Exactly. Uh, unless you can go maybe Arbalest with um, plus six range. <laughs> yeah, but. Um... Was a long way ahead to get there. Oh yeah, for sure. So GG anyway. Viper gonna take game number two, and uh, we're gonna come out and go to game number three in just a moment.